Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Willow Oak. This is part two of your reading for the third quarter. And I brought along your overall energy, which is Wise Counselor. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust that the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. So any or the, or all of the above can apply, okay? So remember, I was going to keep this abbreviated. Let's go ahead and get some Oracle cards for the three months. And please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And you might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this doesn't resonate with you. Okay, so for July, you have Yin which is a receptive energy. This is letting you know that your overall oracle for the month of July is to let things flow to you. Okay, now let's get one for August. flexible. So for the month of August, it's letting you know that you need to be flexible. Okay. Let's go on to September. Whoa. And we had one fly. So this really wanted to come out for September. It's saying you're on your way to the land of milk and honey. Okay. So if you put these together, it's saying be in a receptive mode. Let things flow to you. You need to be flexible, okay? Somewhat flexible. And the end result is going to, see the like the rainbow, the end of the rainbow, the land of milk and honey, all right? Now let's go ahead and get a tarot card for each month. So these energies here are really quite lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get a card for July. Ah, if you remember back to part one, we were talking about staying out of conflict. So you have the Nine of Swords which is talking about being in a challenging state of mind, either emotions and or thoughts or both. And I would say both. So the possibility exists that you might be drawn into a conflict, but we will take clarifying cards. Okay. In just a minute. This is talking about lovers. Very interesting. Yeah, it's saying that the possibility exists that you might meet a romantic partner during this time, a very good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get a card for September. A decision needs to be made. And this is an energy where you put yourself in this position. You are going within and using your intuition, wisdom, those sorts of things to make a decision that you feel needs to be made. Okay. Oops. So let's um, get some clarifying cards for July. Okay, your first card, it's saying that you need to take a rest, all right? You need to get your mind off of everything 
and go do something that you enjoy that will help refresh you so you can come back and deal with whatever issues there are. Okay, let's get another card. Okay, you have two. The Hermit, which is telling you to go within to seek enlightenment. All right. And you have the Seven of Swords. On the Seven of Swords, what that's talking about is potential deception or betrayal. Taking only what's needed, the universe bearing witness to true intentions, being str strategic, being grateful for the resources you have, moving silently and quickly. So it can be a variety of things, right? But up here, you do have an energy that is challenging, okay? It's to the point where, you know, you can't really think straight. So I would say the potential exists that it could be deception, betrayal, somebody trying to get away with something, Okay, and if you have not seen part one, you should watch that because I spent a fair amount of time talking about staying out of challenging energy, okay? And it looks like the potential does exist that you were unable to stay out of a challenging energy, which has put you in a place where you're having a hard time thinking straight. Mm -hmm. But down here, it's saying that, yeah, potential for betrayal or something hidden. And it's saying you need to go inside to seek enlightenment, use your intuition, and take a rest, which means get away from it so you can start to think clearly again and come back and deal with whatever's going on, okay? Now let's go ahead and go on to August. Queen of Wands, beautiful energy. Okay, so for August, it's saying you need to be flexible. You might meet a wonderful romantic partner, and that's being clarified so far by the Queen of Wands, who's very enthusiastic, ambitious, extremely confident, very social, and unafraid to speak up and be heard. So she goes for what she wants. So there might very well be a love interest that comes in. And you might be a huge part of that coming in. And here you have the world. This is saying that you are successfully closing out of a cycle. And remember, I'm doing each month. However, energy, the way it flows, they can mingle together, right? Any way they choose to. So I would see this card as being in here, most likely. Mm -hmm. That you are getting out of this energy because you are taking on confidence and going forward with what, you know, whatever it is you're wanting to do. Okay. Let's get one more card. This is a very nice card. And um, in part one, you had many, many new beginnings. Okay. This is talking about you looking at the challenges or something that's um, negative, something that is not in your best interest. You know, you're, you're feeling upset about this and not seeing the cup from the universe. However, you are closing out of a cycle right? So I believe this 
is part of this. This is going to be gone. You're very confident and you're moving forward. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the sun. And the sun is a beautiful energy where wonderful things flow into you, okay? Say if you decided, just for an example, that you want to change careers, it will flow smoothly, right? Or in this case, say you want to get out of this energy. That will flow smoothly. And so the way I'm seeing this, these are, like I said, separated out into months, but it looks like they're definitely merging. Mm -hmm. Because I would see this card definitely being over here and this card being over here. Yeah, but that's absolutely beautiful. Okay, now for September, you're coming to your land of milk and honey, but it looks like you need to make a decision. Mm -hmm. So let's get some clarifying cards for that. Whoa, <laughs> we have flip. Okay. The Knight of Cups is coming out at the same time with the Three of Swords. So this is talking about having your heart hurt. And here, the Nine of Cup, Knight of Cups is a beautiful energy. It's one where their goal, they're in no hurry to achieve it, their goal is to bring in love, right? So... Your heart could be hurt by something, potentially this. But the Knight of Cups is coming in and making everything beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. At the bottom of the deck, again, from taking these cards, you have the sun. So that's twice the sun has come in. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last clarifying card for this is justice. If somebody, you're not going to believe it. I haven't touched them. Third time. I ha totally have chills now. I mean, I touched him, I shuffled, but absolutely amazing. Three times the sun has come in. I don't even know what to say about that. That's just amazing. Okay, back to where I was. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just, it's amazing. Okay. Justice is coming in. If you've been wronged over here somewhere, because it doesn't look like it's happening here, it looks like it would be here. If just um, if something happened where you were wronged, justice is coming in to make it right. And it's also bringing in balance. All right. So the way I actually see this is, yeah, um, what I think is going on here, I was trying to separate these out into months. But to me, it looks like these clarifying cards are going for all of the months mm -hmm. yeah and if you if you watch part one if you haven't yet this will make more sense i think mm -hmm. because there was a big emphasis on it was a beautiful reading you had i only remember now like seven plus maybe new beginnings that were beautiful but there was an emphasis on staying out of challenging energy so it looks like potentially you weren't able to mm -hmm. but here it looks like you're able to put this behind you right you've gained your confidence this is gone whatever hurt your heart is gone because justice is here balancing the scales and making everything right. And here you have the Knight of Cups who is bringing in love and beauty, surrounding you with it. 
yeah like your um land of milk and honey mm -hmm. okay so here be receptive be in a flow state let things come to you but you do need to be flexible and you will end up with your land of milk and honey this is saying put yourself in a hermit energy find your enlightenment and take a rest whenever you need to get your get yourself away from everything so you can clear your mind because it does look like somebody has does something has done something that um, puts you in the state but like I also mentioned in the previous video it is your emotions and your thoughts so while they might have been a catalyst it is you who is allowing yourself to stay there Okay, over here, this would, you know, to me be right there. You're not staying in that energy. You're closing it out successfully, so it's not going to come back and haunt you. And why? You're, how and why is because you are gaining your confidence back. Yeah. Unafraid to speak up and be heard and very confident. The Queen of Wands goes for what she wants, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're getting out of this. And as these months are going on it looks like things are getting better and better and better right here you need to make a decision um but it, you're it's you putting yourself you know in solitude for a moment because you need to decide something it's not a negative energy at all it's just saying you need to make a decision so you're thinking things through and it looks like the decision you're making is a wonderful decision because you're ending up with the land of milk and honey, right? And balance and love. So to me, this first part's a little bit challenging, but down here, these clarifying cards are going for kind of merging. And absolutely amazing, never happened before. The bottom of the deck, the last three times, you have the sun. So I don't know if you can get a much stronger message than that. It is telling you everything is going to be absolutely beautiful. Okay. You will be in the shine your light energy. I still can't believe it happened, but it did. Yeah. So the sun is coming in. And I'm sure the universe is making a big point with that. Because it happened three times in a row. Okay. So just... I would still advise, if possible, to stay away from conflict because, remember, energy, if you change your energy, this energy can change as well. So try to stay out of conflict and maybe you can avoid this. The potential does exist. And, beautiful, you might meet the love of your life. You need to be flexible. Here you're making a decision something hurt your heart and it could go back to here i do not know however justice is here for you as well as balance is coming in and this beautiful love that just encompasses you along with the sun times three beautiful okay so let's get a charm Okay, here you have the Eiffel Tower. Oops, I'm sorry, I bumped the camera. You have the Eiffel Tower. And the Eiffel Tower was a challenge to build. But look at the beauty and the strength that has come from that. I mean, it stands still to this day. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful charm to get. And here you have a time of celebration. Let's see. Two wine glasses. Mm-hmm. Time to celebrate. And I would imagine it's potentially meeting a new romantic partner and closing out this cycle. Mm 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Retro car. Okay. Like I've said, and I'm sure you heard me say it, whenever I get a mode of transportation, that is saying you are going forward. You've got this. Uh-huh. Okay. So here, this could be a challenge because of how hard it is to build. But you are, to me, it's like you're building this really solid foundation, which allows this come in to come into being, okay? And it's going to end up being a celebration where you're moving forward. Let's go ahead and get some cards from the universe, and then we will be all done. While July looks like it has its moments of challenges, looks like you're going to get through it just fine. And July and August look wonderful. And I do think your clarifying cards have just kind of merged to clarify the whole thing. And do um, remember this one, the rest one. Anytime during this time where you feel you need to take a rest, do that. Go take a little mini vacation or anything that you like doing that will get your mind off of any, you know, any issues. So when you come back, you'll be refreshed. Okay. First card, absolutely beautiful. You have the Queen of Cups. Very trustworthy energy, the Mother Archetype. And she is here to help. Either that or you're taking on this energy. Okay. She helps because that's who she is. She wants to help, and it's very genuine, okay? It's beautiful energy. It's all about the love. Okay, get, whoop, let's get another card. The Emperor. Extremely powerful energy. Very, very strong. Okay, and what's underneath that is this energy. And so to me, what this is saying is do not stress. The emperor is here to help. Okay, this somehow there's a connection with you building a very solid foundation. So maybe there's something that you needed or need to go through, but the emperor and the Queen of Cups is here, so don't worry. Everything will be beautiful. Okay? Let's get one more card. Yeah, it's kind of like you're building this Eiffel Tower, and the Eiffel Tower was not easy to build. It was a huge challenge. But it's magnificent. So maybe you have to go through a few hard things to end up with your milk and honey. And the sun times three, which is just, wow, how that happened. Okay. The magician energy. Okay, this is saying that if at any time you want to create something different in your life, you have everything that you need to do that with you and within you. Use your practicality and your magic and create the reality that you want in your life, okay? And here, you're definitely going to have a solid foundation and you will have the love and care with you to help you. Beautiful. Yeah, and <laughs> the sun times three. I mean, it's amazing when the sun comes out. You know, I'm using these different decks and I've had that happen before where the sun's come out three different times. That's amazing. But to have it come out at the bottom of the deck three times in a row, that is just wow, way beyond amazing to me. Never happened before. But so maybe maybe something's destined. I don't know. But it is absolutely beautiful. Everything is going to be wonderful. We'll be in that land of milk and honey for sure. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. And if you find this valuable, please give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. And 
Have a wonderful quarter. Okay? Much love. Bye.